What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very simple and modern looking desktop. Alright, so we're over at my setup and the first step really is going to be just find a suitable and a nice looking wallpaper. This is the one that I went with, I'll put a link for it in the description down below. I'm really liking the whole sunset and the cool tones it has going on. But you know, if you find like a simple looking one, it's really going to make these effects look a lot better. And I'll put some other ones as well in the description for you guys. So for the majority of this video, you're going to see it scaled to this 21 by 9 ratio because my monitors are 3440 by 1440 a piece. So this is how it looks for me, just as a reference for you guys. So to get this all started, the program we're going to be using is called Rain Meter. Again, I'll have a link down below for you guys, but it's very simple. Just go there and download the latest link that's available. This is going to kick everything off. So when you run Rain Meter, it's essentially going to let you add skins and like widgets to your desktop. You can see in the right hand corner already up top, it does have things like you know, the time, date, CPU usage, RAM usage, just things like that. Those are just little like default ones. You can go ahead and disable those or unload those. And I'll show you the ones that I use or the ones I think look best for this nice modern looking desktop. You can see it gives you the options of this drop down menu to enable certain things. Again, this is just the very bare bones stuff in Rain Meter, but the options are there if you want to use those. We're going to use ones from external websites and creators. And the first one is going to be called Limit, and this is probably one of my favorites, especially with this wallpaper. Again, the links for everything is down below, but as soon as you install it, it'll then appear right in your Rain Meter menu. They're going to have certain things you can go in and enable, like the time, the date, the weather, and some things like that, along with the music player. But just for the ones that I picked, I wanted to go with the time and the date. You can see they do install them in the top right hand corner by default, but you can move them around. Now what I really like about Limit is, coincidentally, the colors they use for the clock and the date match our wallpaper almost perfectly. And you can see that the clocks are kind of like filling up each second on the 19 hand. That's going to give you pretty much a count of the 60 seconds in the minute. Same with the date on the right as the day progresses, so will kind of the meter for that. And it does go up real time for both the, uh, the hour hand, the minute hand, and the date, which is really cool. Cool. You can customize the colors if you want into the text file, but I'm going to leave them default because like I said, it just matches this wallpaper beautifully. Next up is going to be our music visualizer, and that's going to be from Fountains of Color. And essentially, this is going to add a music visualizer in bars onto your desktop. Much like the others, they're going to give you some options here, but just for the Fountains of Color, I'm going to go with Clone because that's going to give you the bar visualizer on the top. And this is going to work for any audio coming out of your PC, whether you're watching, you know, um, a YouTube video, listening to music on Spotify, or any external music player. Whatever audio comes through your speakers or your headphones, usually it's going to be now visualized. And this can be completely customized to your liking. If you click on the visualizer itself, it'll bring up a little menu where you can change the colors, have it do random colors, or pick a few colors that you want it to pretty much pulse to. You can also do things like change the amount of bars, so if you want it to be across your entire desktop, change the length, change the decibel at which they peak or which they descend to. Completely up to you, but for me, I'm just going to leave it default because I don't mind the way it looks. So this is my current go-to with the wallpaper with Limit and Fountains of Color installed. I'm a big fan of it and this is going to be pretty much my, uh, my default wallpaper from here on out. But I am going to show you a secondary one that I think is also really cool that you could use. And these are very, very minimal. Going to give you that nice little touch here. You can see we do also have a new form of visualizer and a clock. And the first skin we're going to talk about for this one is called Raw Time. When you install it, they have five different clocks there for you. You get this more square one, a very just simple one, uh, and two kind of like, you know, variations, like a script writing. And then number five, which is my favorite, is this one. You get the nice X in the middle, breaking up the hour and the minutes. This one is just so minimal, and it fits in with a lot of other minimal wallpapers so we're gonna be rocking it for this uh this demonstration here like i said definitely my favorite and the second part we're gonna add on is called viz bubble and this is what's going to give you that bubble visualizer look as opposed to the bar visualizer that we installed earlier nothing too fancy it's still you know, relatively small uh the visualizer pulse is outward i like it there are also a few others included like the uh the wave one here you also get a waved filled one which i'm really not a big fan of and then wave stereo which gives you the left and right channels in a uh, a pulsing wave but i think just keeping it you know uh at its best simple look just go to the bar extrude it just fits in so nice with the raw time and this wallpaper 
And you can really switch it up to whatever kind of color or theme wallpaper you go with since they give you different options for each skin, which is really great. Again, just taking the same um, installs pretty much from the last wallpaper onto a different one, readjust things, put it in like area of high contrast if you want. And you could still just make your ordinary desktop look 10 times better in just a few minutes. I mean, rain meter is not that hard to learn at all. And everything I've done so far is very basic. It can get extremely complicated where you could really, really get into some great detail for your customization but I showed off four different skins total and here you can see you can mix and match if you want to make certain like settings and scenes and it all really just comes down to the choice of wallpaper the the nicer the wallpaper you can find the better it's gonna look with these skins just a few examples here and like I said I will have literally everything you see in this video listed down below for you guys so you could try to mess around with it and achieve these different wallpapers and the last thing I'll show off because I get asked this all the time is how I span my wallpapers across all three of my desktops and it's very very simple. Literally all you do is right click on your desktop and hit personalize. It'll bring up the background menu and all you have to do is go down, uh, pick which photo you want to set at your desktop and remember it has to be large enough to fit the amount of desktops you're going to be displaying and the uh, exact ratio as well. Then go down and hit span and it'll do it all for you. That's it. So try to find a wallpaper with the exact resolution as your display or higher and depending on how many displays you have you're going to need it to compensate that exact total resolution. So those are just two of my favorites and keep in mind with the rain meter there are a ton of really cool things you could do with it. These are just some possibilities if you want to see more from me in the future on how to create these certain themed desktops. If you have a certain idea hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know some things you want to see and if you do in fact just want to see more videos like this. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this video. I hope you like this. Kind of different, I know, but like I said, just give me your feedback and also hit me up and follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. I'll see you guys next time.